the U.S. Army's attackums, recognized as the pinnacle of modern precision strike artillery, has long been a stalwart force. Yet, in the ever-evolving landscape of military technology, what proves effective today may not suffice tomorrow. Recognizing this, the Army is forging ahead with the development of a cutting-edge long-range weapon, the Precision Strike Missile, or PRSM, an innovation poised to succeed the aging attackums. Recent demonstrations of the attackums' ability on the Ukrainian battlefield, where it played a pivotal role in a successful strike against Russia's helicopter fleet, mark a significant achievement. Yet this success prompts a forward-looking perspective. The baton is poised to be passed, bringing with it the anticipation of even greater capabilities and strategic advantages in the ever-shifting dynamics of modern warfare. This development makes us wonder, what advantages does the new precision strike missile offer? Developed by Lockheed Martin, the PRSM is a cutting-edge surface-to-surface ballistic missile specifically engineered to operate seamlessly in all weather conditions. Notably, it boasts the capability to carry a cluster munition payload releasing multiple small bomblets during its flight. Over the years, the PRSM program has undergone extensive development efforts, focusing on enhancing the long-range support and deep strike capabilities crucial for field artillery units. A significant milestone in this journey was marked by a successful test flight at White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico. This particular missile, designated as Increment 1, was launched from a M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, or HIMARS, and demonstrated impeccable successful target engagements. Preliminary results from the test indicate that the missile performed exceptionally well meeting expectations in terms of flight trajectory, lethality, engagement angle, and burst height. Post the trial, the Army made a strategic announcement regarding the PRSM baseline variant, revealing its intent to replace the aging inventory of Attackum's missiles. This bold move is expected to significantly augment the range and lethality of the U.S. military's long-range precision munitions. Although the Attackums has proven its effectiveness in Ukraine's conflict with Russia, a pivotal moment occurred on October 17, 2023. Ukraine executed its inaugural Attackum strike, targeting Russia's attack helicopter fleet and successfully obliterating numerous K-52 alligators. This precision strike resulted in the elimination of approximately 14 helicopters, including several formidable K-52s stationed at two Russian airbases within occupied Ukrainian territory. It's worth highlighting that the K-52, extensively employed by Russia and deemed a major threat to Ukraine, was effectively neutralized by the Attackums missile. While the Attackums showcased its effectiveness in this specific scenario, Ongoing technological advancements and the imperative of innovation underscore the necessity for its successor, the PRSM, to offer even greater capabilities. When it comes to comparing the PRSM and the ATACMS, the PRSM clearly outperforms in terms of range, rate of fire, and overall capabilities. Let's start with range. The Attackums has a reach of around 186 miles, while the PRSM is expected to surpass 300 miles. Some reports even suggest it could go as far as 620 miles. Moving on to rate of fire, the PRSM takes the lead by doubling the current rate of the Attackums. This means it can launch two missiles per pod, giving it a significant advantage. This enhanced capability is specifically designed for precision strikes against air defense systems, missile launchers, command and control nodes, troop assembly areas, and high value targets on the battlefield. It's a remarkable advancement in its overall capabilities. It's worth noting that the PRSM and Attackums have something in common. 
They can both be launched from the M270A1 Multiple Launch Rocket System, or MLRS, in HIMARS. This compatibility makes it easier to integrate them into existing military systems, giving more options for strategic deployment. Additionally, the PRSM has a modular design that allows for easy upgrades, and the first batch will be equipped with a unitary warhead optimized to achieve the same effects as ATACMS. Moreover, the future prospects for PRSM, as highlighted by the U.S. Army's Long Range Precision Fires team, bring forth some exciting advancements. Among these is the potential for engaging moving land and maritime targets, coupled with enhanced lethality payloads. These innovations aim to facilitate autonomous and collaborative functions, covering detection, targeting, and striking of high payoff targets. An additional enhancement comes from the integration of air-breathing ramjet propulsion, extending PRSM's range and bolstering its effectiveness across diverse operational scenarios. Furthermore, the industry is actively developing a multi-mode seeker and exploring the creation of an unmanned version of High Mars. These efforts hold the promise of providing even greater utility and autonomy in deploying PRSM, adding another layer of sophistication to its capabilities. As the PRSM approaches operational status, its potential to enhance not only the U.S. capabilities but also those of its allies becomes increasingly apparent. Notably, the missile's development has been a collaborative effort with Australia, reflecting a shared interest in bolstering long-range strike capabilities. The Australian government, responding to the growing influence of China, eagerly seeks to fortify its capabilities in this regard. Concurrently, Ukraine keenly observes these developments, acknowledging the impending arrival of the PRSM. However, they currently do not anticipate acquiring the missiles for their own armed forces. This nuanced perspective reflects the complex geopolitical landscape in which countries navigate their security priorities. The imminent deployment of the PRSM heralds a substantial shift in the military landscape. Some military analysts posit that the advent of this advanced system may render the existing stockpile of attackums once deemed essential redundant for the U.S. armed forces. However, for Ukraine, grappling with security concerns, every additional long-range weapon holds significant importance. Consequently, the introduction of the PRSM not only carries implications for the U.S. and its allies, but also resonates with countries like Ukraine that are actively seeking to fortify their defenses in the face of a multifaceted geopolitical environment. So, what do you think of this? Will the availability of PRSM benefit Ukraine in getting more supply of long-range missiles? That's all for today. Thank you for watching.